What is greetings, beloved? We are from the realms of the Akash, and we recognize and identify as the lords of the Akash. We could spend much time with you this evening. We are wanting to share with you our knowledge and wisdom. We are wanting to respond to your request to understand greater about your COVID experience. We will address each individual individually. We will begin with the truckers. This consciousness is not directly the truckers. This may have been communicated earlier, but it is the consciousness of the truckers coming through and translated through the records. We must state this clearly for it was not clearly stated earlier. And we want to differentiate between the two for there is a very subtle difference, although not largely. Not a large difference. Subtle difference between the two. Understand that we are operating through the consciousness of the truckers who are passing across the country known as Canada. The consciousness that is being shared here is the desire to liberate humans from karma. And this is why the lords of karma are present as well. The truckers themselves are unaware of this. Their passage cross-country and their willingness to block certain, to create certain barricades has been unconsciously placed within them as divine architects of their own future, liberating humanity from the dark, the dark, the dark impulses of the past that that caused and contributed to the reality that the collective experience known as your lockdown situation and the enforcement of of authorities the truckers themselves have always found themselves called to that career so to speak for they were holding within them codes of freedom. Most truckers are very unconscious of the fact that they hold within them strong call for freedom, a strong desire for freedom. They know that they enjoy freedom, freedom of the road, freedom of travel, freedom not to be under the influence of a direct authority, breathing down their necks. But these codes of freedom were very activated by many light workers which had a so-called trigger effect, or you could use the words domino effect, and the truckers themselves, that naturally ignited at a certain frequency over the last year of linear time. And this, when ignited, created a collective desire from within them, from within their DNA a call for freedom and a call to break through the constrictions of their own matrix of illusion, keeping them in a state of enforced enforced constriction and contraction. And so when these codes went off, the call for freedom that each trucker felt the desire to liberate those who have been dealing with various degrees of that which was enforced upon them those of their fellow human they are simultaneously liberating humans from karma they are not aware of this they are freeing humans from karmic, from their own karmic miscreation. For so many humans on your planet have at some point or another been somehow either enslaved or somehow contained at some point or another on their soul's cosmic journey. This may be hard to see from this vantage point, but 
we can assure you that much more is happening than just what appears to the eye. And in this case, we would say it is quite benevolent, quite good, and will have monumentally profound effects on many countries in the months and years ahead. This will ripple into more freedom and liberation for many more humans. These truckers will be recognized in history for their service. And ultimately, they are working through their own soul's agenda to clear karmic residue for multitudes of humans. Karmic residue from old times of one lifetime or another where their freedoms were taken from them. This is now being cleared in the realms of the Akash. That's pretty cool. There was something else. As they clear these these old karmic ties, they are breaking through. The other core element is the leadership and authorities who have attempted to restrict, bind, and control them. That is part of the karmic cleansing they are also doing. The refusal to allow false leaders and authorities to control them. At the same time, they are bringing to light the ridiculousness, the inequity and the unfairness of the leaders who have been abusing their rights to lead and the authorities who have been misusing their abilities to be in positions of authority. The the original elites were appointed to their positions to learn leadership and authority. They have so significantly abused it that this now, this karmic responsibility of these so-called elites and authorities is now being revoked. It was originally meant to support and serve when leaders were put in place to learn how to be more effective leaders and responsible, concerned, caring authority figures. The days of that are long gone. And so again, this is now being cleared from the karmic records. Their rights to be authorities and leaders are being revoked Again, this will become more clear in the months and years ahead. <laughs> 